Right, we're back for part three. I'm not going to talk about more about this, as I said, just because the fact is it's pre it's been pretty much talked to death already. Some people love it, some people hate it. I know one of those guys who likes it though. Um, although as I said, you'll enjoy it more if you're good at it. I'm not. Um, just because the fact is, I just think sometimes it's just really cheap in a way. Um. It just, it just seems sometimes, I don't know how some people could be good at the game though, it's just, like sometimes you try to be, you try to sort of do what they're trying to do, like stay in a point, like do things like this here, but yet, you you just don't seem to do the, you just don't seem to do so well compared to them though, I just don't know, it's just, it's just a, it's just a game I think is just so random sometimes though, and just, um, it is one of those games that I find it ra it is random to be good at compared to something else perhaps. Um anyway, let's get on here. Next game, Mirror Master the Demon Blade. Um I was wanting to get this game though once I first seen stuff footage of it though back I think it was earlier this year. And only because of the fact is it's made by the same people that did Odin Spear, which is a great game as well. Um this one, it's just an absolute beautiful looking game though. The art style in it is just stupendous though, but you don't expect any less from Vanillaware anyway. Vanillaware, they, they, who did the game pretty much. It's just a great looking game though. Um, just The art style just works really well when you're fighting though. It's basically a sort of action game, action side school and hack and slash game. And it's just really nice though. Um, I haven't played a whole lot now, but I've played enough to sort of warrant it that it's going to be a nice game to play anyway. Like, I pretty much just played like the first sort of area and, and like a bit of the second area, which is like in this like sort of village place with these like, different like, pots, pretty much. Dead Space Extraction. This is the game I got along with um, How's the Dead Overkill for the buy one, get one free. House the Dead Overkill was the free game because this, this was cheaper. I mean, this that was cheaper. This was thirty pound. It was thirty twenty five. Um, as I said, I love Dead Space though. Dead Space was one of my favorite games of last year. Absolutely loved it though. Um, it's just a great game. Just a well made game though. Like just the atmosphere, the sound was just was just excellent though. And the controls, I just felt were pretty much near perfect though, they're just really well done though and I just felt that's the game in the way it controls Resident Evil 5 should have been though because playing that and then playing Resident Evil 5 you just want to do certain things that, that game does but Resident Evil 5 because to me Resident Evil 5 is it's just basically 4, there's nothing different to it it's just 4 but set in a different location, that's pretty much it it just plays it just plays exact same way so it does. Um you just have the co op thing, that's pretty much you know, what's new to it. But other than that it just plays it pretty much the same way as four. And yet that's the game that and and that game was like four years old. And it just at four years on it's just pretty much plays the same way. But then again you can say the same things about certain things like Zelda, it pretty much plays the same and yeah you can have that argument. I'm not gonna go into it there but that's pretty much it is. This is basically a uh, light, it's just an on rails shooter so it is. And again, played a bit of it, enjoyed it, going to play more of it sometime. As I say, I buy way too many games. Um, second wiki, Quest for Bobbo's Bob Treasure. Um, seen it there for £13 for pre-owned, I want to get it though. I rented a, a good while back though, and I therefore I just got just the warrant to purchase then and just want to find it when I can get it and I found it there for cheap and I got it. As I said I haven't played it though yet though um, since I got it though but I played it back and when I rented it out first and enjoyed it though for the most I enjoyed it for the most part anyway so that's pretty much all I have to say about it now. And finally um Another Wii game. I got a lot of Wii games, which is surprising though, because it's usually a lot of 360 games I get, but I actually got Wii games for once. 
I finally got new Super Mario Brothers Wii for the Wii. Um, the most original title ever. Not. Um, played the first world and that was like a few weeks ago and I haven't really touched it since pretty much. Um, it's a good game though but a lot of people say it's better if you're playing with multi with different people playing the multiplayer because it's so zany and crazy just going being, being all over the show pretty much but I don't have any people to talk I don't have any people sort of to play with around here so I'm pretty much on my own but it's still a great game to play on your own Um, it's just basically new Super Mario Brothers on the DS but just with new levels and that that's pretty much what there is that's at the end of the day it's a nice it's a nice game just classic old school Mario platform greatness there you go um, that is pretty much all I have to talk about in terms of pickups. Now, going back to what I was talking about at the start of the video, what I plan to do this year for my game of the year things now, a lot of people are going to do certain things now, some people just do like a video, going through like their game, favourite games or something, whatever, and I'm actually going to plan to do uh, 10 videos, which each video is going to go on about a game that I really enjoyed that's part of uh, my game of the year lineup. So basically there's gonna be ten games up for my game of the year and uh, so I said one fit it's gonna be each video is a game's gonna get their own video and basically I'm gonna talk about the game, show footage, etc. Basically talk about the game, like maybe like the plot or whatever, premise, things like that, gameplay and sort of basically why I think it's great and why it's on my list what's why it's up for my game of the year and um, pretty much and and at the end of it all that's I'm gonna have a final video which is basically just make gonna summarize things with summarize the lineup and things and then I'll choose my game of the year then and I probably won't do this till in the new year though because I say I want to there's a few games I still want to play a good chunk of now and of course games I'm getting in Christmas as well so things could change though but I have a good I have some games already that are definitely st staying there anyway no doubt I already have a few I actually don't think I have a full 10 but I'm pretty close anyway though like there's a few games I definitely have on though like one of them on here I showed is on the list actually. In fact, maybe another one might be on the list as well when I finish it because um, it's one of them I'm actually playing quite a lot of at the moment, and I'm really enjoying it as well. Um, that I think that is pretty much all I have to talk about now. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So anyway, I will talk to you guys later and I will be doing a video after Christmas probably Boxing Day showing what I got for Christmas Um, so uh, I know a few things I'm getting anyway but I'm not going to tell you them now I'll just let you know what I got and what just basically sort of keep you in suspense if you care so anyway that is me for another month might probably be might not but I'm gonna share I'm gonna do that video for next week in Boxing Day basically go through what I got for Christmas. So until then take care. This is Dow setting out.